Within a week of conception, your fertilized egg, known as a blastocyst, will make its way to your uterus. The egg is about the size of a pen tip. In days, the cells in the egg arrange themselves into groupings. The inner cell mass will become your baby. The outer cells will become the amniotic sac and placenta. The blastocyst then sheds its protective casing in a process called hatching and burrows into the lush uterine wall. Around week five, your developing baby is the size of a sesame seed. The cells that once formed the blastocyst's inner cell mass begin organizing and arranging, giving shape to the young embryo and forming primitive organs. Your baby's brain and spinal cord are visible through his translucent skin. Right around this time, your baby's circulatory system also forms, and his heart begins to beat. Your baby looks more like a tiny tadpole than a human. He's drawing nutrients and oxygen through the newly formed placenta and umbilical cord. By week nine, the embryonic tail is gone. Your baby's looking more human every day. With protruding limbs and fingers, a defined nose, mouth and eyes, and tiny earlobes. Your new resident is about the size of a grape and weighs a fraction of an ounce. It's hard to believe how rapidly one cell evolves in such a short time into the unmistakable body of a baby. At 10 weeks and barely the size of a kumquat, your baby is entering the fetal stage of development. His facial features are defined and his tooth buds are forming. Over the next weeks, his tissues and organs will rapidly grow and mature. The webbing is gone between his fingers and toes and his nails and fingerprints are developing. Your baby can open and close his fists and curl his toes. Thanks to his developing muscles and reflexes, he's now moving his limbs and kicking up a storm. If this is your first baby, though, you likely won't feel his flutters until 18 to 20 weeks. Through translucent skin, his vital organs are visible and functioning, including his growing brain, nervous system, intestines, and liver, which is making red blood cells in place of the disappearing yolk sac. The umbilical cord is working hard now. One vein delivers oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to your baby. Two arteries then carry the blood away. Around week 12, the kidneys have begun producing urine, which your baby will soon start excreting into the amniotic fluid. He'll swallow the fluid and the process will begin again. By week 14, your baby's eyes and ears have moved into place, and he can squint, frown, and grimace. You're now beginning the second trimester of pregnancy, which many women say is when they feel their best. Between 15 and 20 weeks, your baby will more than double in size. As his body grows, his nervous system is rapidly maturing. His nerves are connecting his brain to the rest of his body, traveling from the brain through the brain stem and down the spine, and beginning to extend into his torso and limbs. Your baby's skeleton is changing too. The soft cartilage is starting to harden into bone. This happens first in the arms and legs. Sensory development is picking up speed. Your baby's brain is designating special areas for smell, taste, hearing, vision, and touch. At this stage, your baby may be able to hear your heartbeat and voice. 
So read aloud or sing a happy tune. Your baby may even be sucking his thumb now. At about 18 weeks, you'll start to experience one of the most exciting parts of pregnancy, feeling your baby's movements. His flexing arms and legs may feel like gentle flutters at first. They'll become even stronger and more frequent in the weeks ahead. At 20 weeks, your baby weighs a little more than 10 ounces and measures about 10 inches from head to heel, about the length of a banana. This week is a big milestone the halfway point in your pregnancy. Between 21 and 27 weeks, your baby's sense of touch is developing, along with his unique fingerprints. When you rub or gently press on your belly, you may feel your baby squirm or kick in response. He can feel his own face now as well as anything within his reach, including the umbilical cord. He'll keep experimenting with and refining his sense of touch. Around 23 weeks, your baby can swallow. Soon after, you may notice fetal hiccups. Don't worry, hiccups are a normal part of development and it's common for your baby to have them several times a day. His lungs are also forming millions of tiny branches called bronchioles. Incredibly, your baby is already practicing breathing by inhaling and moving small amounts of amniotic fluid in and out of his lungs. At 24 weeks, the baby is capable of surviving outside the uterus with significant medical help. At 27 weeks, your baby's eyelids may open as a reflex, but he can't see yet. His lips are formed, and he now has tiny taste buds on his tongue. He weighs nearly two pounds and is about 14 and a half inches long. Now there's just one more trimester to go. Your baby's sex is set at conception. At around seven weeks, your baby's internal sex organs, such as ovaries and testes, begin to form in the abdomen. Male and female sex organs and genitalia look the same at this stage because they're derived from the same structures. At around nine weeks, boys and girls begin to develop differently. In girls, a tiny bud emerges between the tissue of the legs. This bud will become the clitoris. The membrane that forms a groove below the bud separates to become the labia minora and the vaginal opening. By 22 weeks, the ovaries are completely formed and move from the abdomen to the pelvis. They already contain a lifetime supply of six million eggs. In boys, the bud develops into the penis and starts to elongate around 12 weeks. The outer membrane grows into the scrotal sac that will later house the testicles. By 22 weeks, the testes have formed in the abdomen. They already contain immature sperm. Soon they'll begin the descent to the scrotum, but it's a long journey. They'll reach their destination late in pregnancy or for some boys after birth. If you're eager to find out whether you're having a girl or a boy, you'll have to wait until you're at least 17 weeks pregnant. That's when the genitals have developed enough to be seen on an ultrasound. You and your baby are beginning your last trimester together. At 28 weeks, your baby weighs just over two pounds. He'll more than triple his weight between now and birth and build a layer of fat that will help keep him warm outside the womb. Your baby's skeleton is hardening. The bones in his head have not yet fused together, which will allow them to slightly overlap as his head passes through the snug space of the birth canal. 
billions of neurons have developed and are firing in your baby's brain, creating essential connections that will help him learn in and outside the womb. Your baby can open his eyes now and see the light that filters through your womb. He can hear too, so go ahead and talk or sing to your baby. As your due date nears, your baby will shed small bits of vernix caseosa, the white cheesy substance that covers his entire body and protects his skin from the amniotic fluid he's floating in. Your baby swallows some of these bits, along with other secretions, which pass through his digestive system to become his first bowel movement. At 37 weeks, your baby's skin is pink and soft. He's looking less like a wrinkled alien and more like a baby. He's gaining nearly one ounce a day and weighs about six pounds. He's now considered full term. In preparation for birth, most babies will turn so their head is facing downward. Your baby will stay that way, head resting in your pelvic area as he gets ready to greet the world. In the weeks before birth, your body slows down production of the hormone progesterone while increasing production of other hormones, including prostaglandins, which soften the cervix, and oxytocin, which triggers the uterine muscles to contract. True labor contractions are rhythmic and painful and grow consistently stronger. As the long vertical muscle bands of the uterus tighten, they pull the cervix open. The strong muscles at the top of the uterus push down and release, guiding your baby toward the cervix. The mucus plug, a collection of thickened cervical mucus that sealed your cervix shut for nine months, may be expelled days before or in the midst of labor. When the amniotic sac ruptures, your water has broken. It can feel like a trickle or a gush of fluid. Your cervix will begin opening and thinning, known as dilation and effacement. Once you reach about four centimeters, your body will move into active labor. In active labor, contractions become stronger and closer together. At eight centimeters, you enter what many consider the most painful part of labor, transition. By 10 centimeters, you're fully dilated and may feel the urge to push. This is your signal that the second stage of labor has begun. Your baby will move down with each contraction. The three separate soft bones of his head will temporarily overlap so he can pass through the snug birth canal. Your baby's scalp will come into view. When the widest part of his head is visible, your baby is crowning. With several more pushes, your baby's face, shoulders, and body will emerge. In the third and final stage of labor, your placenta detaches and is expelled. With your baby's first breath, the incredible journey of birth is complete.